Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today is the start of my birthday weekend reading vlog. So today I am with my parents at their hometown and I'm spending the weekend with them for my birthday. Tomorrow is my 24th birthday um, and I'm about to leave with my mom to go to a market day thing in their town and I'm really excited because there's a booth that sells macarons and I'm so excited. I bought like 12 and she's saving them for me to come by. So <laughs> um, I'll show you those later, but we're just gonna go around doing some shopping and stuff like that. So yeah, this is my oh, fit for the day. <laughs> um, It's a really pretty blue dress and my blue hoop earrings. I'm an earring gal, if you couldn't tell. Um, We're gonna go get ready to go. I gotta go brush my teeth and put on my shoes. So let's go. Hi guys, um, it is later. I know that montage was just a little strange because I said I was going to like a market day thing, which I did, but it was way too dang hot to like film anything outside. So yeah, Oreo's joining me. Um, I missed him and he missed me, right buddy? I haven't seen you in two weeks. So he's been my love bug. So um, I think I showed you like, I don't even remember what I showed you, but I was literally just showing you like two. Oh, there he goes. Please hurry, sir. Hurry up. Your butt is in the camera, go. <laughs> anyway, um, I showed you like two clips of like when I was there and then two clips after when we got home and everything. So um, yeah, and what I had for lunch and me eating like two macarons. I'll show you all the macarons that I bought now and like what flavors they are. If you hear noise in the background, uh, we're currently rewatching Game of Thrones. So my mom and I, so that's what's on the end of the background. Okay, I want to see what flavors are in the bag. But this is the cotton candy one. I think this is the vanilla. I've already had one of these. Fruity Pebbles. Okay, I think this one's Peaches and Cream. I think this one's French Toast. Oh, I think these are your two um, salted car- uh, No, Butter Pecan, Mom. These are the Boston Cream ones. I want to try this one really bad, but I've tried just to eat one. Okay, we're back. I'm excited to eat those throughout the rest of the weekend, so. Yeah, some of them are not, they're not all mine. I'm not eating all those, <laughs> even though I wish I could. I bought them from like my mom and my dad if we want some, so. I thought I would give you a reading update since I haven't done that yet. So I've been saving this book for like this time um, because I've heard so many amazing things about it. It's called A Soul to Keep by, what's the author's name? Opal something, Opal Rain. There we go. Um, this is a monster romance I've heard nothing but amazing things about, like everywhere. Instagram, book talk, booktube. Well, not as much on booktube actually, but I've seen all over Instagram and I'm like, I wanna read it already. I love monster romances. My only thing about it is that it's like over 500 pages, which is a 
not a big like hard thing for me um especially if it's not an audiobook I only read long books as audiobooks so um we'll see how fast I read this but I'm 13% of the way through and I'm really liking it our heroine is like a human woman who lives in this village where there are demons like infested in the land and there's the veil the area where demons live demons killed her entire family she's the only survivor of the killing and people think that she's cursed and so the village is kind of like ostracized her and then when it comes for the dusk walker who's like kind of like part demon part human he comes every 10 years to this village to pick out a bride and so the town has picked the heroine to be the bride this year um because they want to be rid of the curse because she they think she's a curse because she survived all these demons killing her family um and so i'm at the part where orpheus the demon has demon du not demon dusk walker because demons and dusk walkers are different i've come to the part where he's come to claim her and pick her up because like they do an exchange for protection so he picks someone every 10 years to like be his bride in exchange for protecting the village with magic uh from demons and so yeah they're on the trek back to the veil his home um, and I'm gonna see what happens. Orpheus already seems like a sweetie pie. He's rescued her a few times and like carried her places. Like he seems so sweet, but like he looks like this. So she was obviously very scared, <laughs> um, but I'm really liking it and hopefully I can read more. And then I did bring another book that I wanted to read during this weekend, but we'll see. It's kind of thick. This is What Lies Beyond the Veil by Harper L. Woods. This is a fantasy romance that I've heard amazing things about. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to this, but, um, because this one is so long. So yeah, I haven't picked out an audiobook. I just DNF'd last night, the audiobook I was currently reading, because it was so boring. It was like an alien romance. I was like, I'm bored. I don't want to read this. This is going to be like a two star for me, so why continue reading? So I had to pick out a new audiobook. Oh, and I thought I would show you the snacks that I hold. I'm going to give you a snack haul, because I don't really treat myself when it comes to like bad snacks for you <laughs> and candy because like I don't eat it often. Um, and so I was like, you know what? It's my birthday. Let's get some treats that I don't eat often. Oh, my tried and true favorite chips are Cool Ranch Doritos. If you're a nacho lover over Cool Ranch, I don't know if I trust you, honestly, so. <laughs> and then um, my other two favorite candies, um, of course, sour gummy worms for the win. I, I rarely eat candy, but like I am obsessed with those. And then I love peanut butter M&M's, not peanut. Peanut can suck it. <laughs> um, but peanut butter is so good. It's like Reese's Pieces, but with more peanut butter, which is what I want. Um, so I'm obsessed with these. I normally would pick a Reese's, but like Reese's at the gas station I went to, there was only like two cups. I'm like, I want more than just two peanut butter cups. Um, and I didn't want to buy multiple Reese's packs. So Reese's are like my tried true favorite candy of all time, but this is like number two when it comes to like a chocolatey snack. So I picked this and then um, I just got a few things for my parents, two snacks that they wanted. So I'm gonna go lay down and read because today kicked my butt. <laughs> I am tired. It was a lot of walking. I didn't even look at honestly any of the booths outside besides the one for the macarons because I was extremely hot. Oh, sorry, this is on. I'm on chapter seven, by the way. Um, anyway, I was extremely hot and I was just dying. And I can't think straight when I'm hot, L cannot think at all. I don't know how people live in the world without air conditioning. Like, I don't understand. If you don't have an AC unit, how do you live? I don't, I don't, I would sell, if I didn't have AC, I would sell my soul to get one. <laughs> and also, I got all these freaking packages. And there's, there's even more. There's a box too. Like, y'all, y'all did not have to send me crap. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. I have sweet friends. I don't know who, this is my stack of like things I don't know who are like, who sent me stuff because I'm opening all of it tomorrow on my birthday. Um, but I thought I'd share with you the two like packages I knew weren't for my birthday, so I just opened them. Um, first is this one from Catherine Cowles. This is Shattered Sea. Uh, this is an ARC 
um, for her fourth book in her Tattered and Torn series. She sent me an ARC because um, this has chronic illness wrap and she sent this book to a few of us in the book community who also have chronic illnesses to kind of like look at it and review it before release date. So I'm very excited to have this and it came with some goodies. So it of course came signed and then there's a sticker that says welcome to Wolf Gap, which might be the town. Oreo is crying, I'm so sorry. Gotta let him out. Um, and then this is a bookmark. And then it came with a little postcard and a little thing with it. So I'm so excited to read this finally. I need to start book one soon because I need to read this before the release date, obviously, but I'm so excited. I've heard amazing things about Catherine Cowell, so I'm very excited to read this. And then the other one that I got is interesting. <laughs> Valentine BR sent me a book I've never heard of. Um, and the cover kind of like shocked me for a second. Okay, so this is pr Prisoned by Marnie Mann. That cover kind of scared me for a second. If it's supposed to scare you, dang. I think it takes place in jail where this girl's been kidnapped and in prison. Dang, I haven't read something this dark in a while, so we'll see, but she's literally in jail. <gasps> she's kidnapped with a guy she's loved since she was a kid. <gasps> oh my gosh, what is this? Like she gets tortured or something. I've never heard of this or this author. So let me know if you've read this. Anyway, I gotta go let the cat out of the room. So I'm gonna go read some of my book and then talk to y'all later. you would have seen by my little montage um and I got I also opened up all my gifts for my friends I got all these so yes today's my birthday today I am 24 so ah. yeah I'm gonna show you a clip right now of me opening all of these and I know I'm a little awkward and don't speak as much in these clips um it's because like I'm filming in front of my parents and I'm not the most comfortable, even five years of doing this, I'm not comfortable whatsoever like filming in front of them. So um, if I seem a little awkward or like I'm whispering things or like I'm mouthing things, that's why, <laughs> so yeah. And I just wanna say thank you for whoever sent me a book. Like you are amazing, I love you and I truly appreciate it. Like you did not have to send me literally anything. I am blessed by anyone who even just sends me a message like a text saying happy birthday so thank you so much if you sent me something you are the sweetest ever and um thank you if you just even messaged me like this year has been an other crap show for me and so this has like made me feel way happier especially with the whole things that were happening this weekend with doctor's appointments and stuff so um thank you i really appreciate it i'm in awe of how many books are sitting here so <laughs> thank you i really appreciate it and who knows, maybe later on this video, I'll show you how I put them on my shelves. Um, Cause I've read quite a few of these, but I haven't read some. So yeah, you can watch that clip now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's from Riley. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I'm so excited to have this book. <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> Who got me?
ticket. This one's from Steph from Novelty Corner. Okay, here's the box. <laughs> Mom already opened this box because she thought it was a gift from her. Okay, there are multiple books in here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This one's a Tarzan retelling that I liked. What's this one? Oh, I liked this one a lot. And what's... This is her favorite book. <laughs> She's You're going to read all those? I've already read two of them. Holy I've read these two. Wow. Who sent those to you? And I've read all of these already. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's for my collection. Oh my gosh, Jen, too much. She sent me three freaking books. All of them are beautiful. Oh my gosh. And there's three notes in here I need to like cut and put in the book. That's so <laughs> cool. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I love that. Three little notes. Mm. She's so nice. Oh, whoa, this is one I haven't read yet. This one's from, from Jess. It's the sequel to this one. I've read this one and I haven't read this one. I'm so excited. It's beautiful. This one's tiny. I think this one's a novella. Oh my goodness. Marie sent me this one. She loves this book. And I don't own it yet. That's so cute. I haven't read this one. I have one more. Y'all. <laughs> I think I know who this is from. Because I haven't opened hers yet. Why are there so many books in here? Okay, I've read this one and I haven't read this one yet, but that's so funny because I'm seeing her at the book signing in September and these are two I don't own yet for the signing. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm like overwhelmed. <laughs> Of the sweetest friends. This was so nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a lot. I need to go message all of them and say thank you. Okay, so we're back. And so I'm gonna go get ready to go. Um, I don't know what we're doing. My mom is going to take me somewhere. We kind of wanted to go to the movies, but the closest movie theater nearby isn't showing anything good. The only good thing they're showing is Maverick and my mom and I have already seen that and we don't feel like we're watching it. I'm gonna get dressed in a pretty dress dress myself up and then I also told her I want to go to at least two bookstores today so we'll see what happens I'm excited <laughs>
to give you an OOTD outfit of the day. So I can't really show you the whole thing. Let me, let me put y'all down. Maybe that'll be better. Okay. This is my dress. <laughs> this is from TJ Maxx. Love TJ Maxx. Um, these are my, oh, balance issues. These are my shoes. They're Steve Madden. I got them at DSW. Then my earrings are handmade. I made these myself. Doubles were a gift. Um, rings, random ass jewelry store. I think my sister got this from James Avery. This is my class ring. All my scrunchies from Hello Lovely Box. So that's the outfit for the day. Hopefully we can get some cute pictures while out and about going book shopping. Also, my curls are falling faster than I would like and they're going to fall immediately when I step a step outside because of the humidity in Texas because it's so bad. So I'm gonna take these curls for what they are right now. guys so I'm back from shopping and um, my mom and I went and got lunch and um, we went to a few stores more specifically a bookstore but um, I'll show you what books I got and then um, I also came home to four more packages so we're gonna open those y'all need to stop <laughs> four more like oh my gosh I really hope no one bought me some books that I bought today at the bookstore, so let's see. Ooh, who's this from? Oh, if there's no freaking note in here, I'm gonna be mad. Oh my goodness, no freaking note in this bag. I'm gonna have to ask people. I think I might know who it's from. I have to ask her to make sure, but she said she sent me two books, so. We have Ruby Dixon, When She's Lonely. I freaking love this book. I'm so excited to have it on my shelf. I'm being spoiled with Ruby Dixon books. And then a novella is Once Upon a Winter's Eve by Tessa Dare. I don't own this one yet, and I'm trying to own all of Tessa Dare's books. So I think I know who sent these to me, so I'm gonna go text her, and if not, I will post my Instagram story to figure it out. Another one. Let's see. Oh, well, this one's a little bent, but it's okay. We're good. I can live with a little bent. Who's this from? Oh, it's from Tori! That's so special. Okay, she sent me Man in Charge by Laura Lynn Page. We've both read this book. This book is so good. It's an office workplace romance, but then the heroine's like best friend has pots. And so like, I really, 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 really connected to her. And so um, I got Tori hooked up to this book. I don't know if she's read book two, but it's a duology. It's so hot and it's so good. Please read it. So thank you so much, Tori, for sending this my way. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put the note in here. I gotta go text all these people. Okay, this is a box. What's up with you, Amazon, with no note? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go to Instagram for this one, but um, it's one for All by Lily Lanoff. <laughs> I am really excited to read this. This is actually a YA book. And it's a Three Musketeer retelling, but with women, and it has pots representation in it. And so I'm really excited to read this. So whoever sent me this book, thank you, because I've been wanting this for quite a long time. And then this last one. Let's see. Oh, there's two books in here. Oh my goodness, they're from Victoria. Okay, 
<laughs> she got me two really good ones. We have a recent favorite of mine, Delilah Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Hang Blake and Captive of the Horde Game by Zoe Draven. Um, she wrote in her note, it was really sweet how like she read both of these because I recommended them to her. And so I'm so excited. Oh, and there's another note too. Oh, she's so sweet. I gotta go message her. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you what I hauled at that bookstore. All of them are historical romances because the historical selection in that bookstore was awesome. I've never been there. It was in Katy, Texas. It's like Katy's, Katy's book something. Um, if I remember, I'll link it down below, but there were so many historicals. I was obsessed. So um, I found some ones that I was missing from my collection. So I picked them up. Uh, first, we have this Elizabeth Hoyt that I didn't own and I only am going to be buying Elizabeth Hoyt's that come with the two page step back. So I don't know what book in the, oh, it says book six in the Maidenland series. There you go. So I've only read, I think book seven, book eight. Um, so look, I have book, I have book six. Um, but yeah, I'm only going to buy, they had like a few Elizabeth Hoyt, but none of the other ones had step backs with them. So I had to get the one with the step back. Um, then Teresa Medrios is um, somebody that's been really hot right now with my friends with historicals and I own a few of her books um, but this is one I didn't own and I just thought was amazing. This is a touch of enchantment and the step back in here is very interesting. I believe it is a time travel romance. It was in the paranormal romance section so I will I'll learn about more of it later but it just it looks so beautiful. And then I got another Teresa Medrios. So I own book one in this series. I think Jen recently read book one and really liked it, but this is book two. This is The Bride and the Beast. The title caught my eye immediately because it sounds like Beauty and the Beast. So um, this cover is stunning to me and it doesn't have a step back. None of them, because they had a few copies of this one, had a step back. Even though I do own book one, it has a step back. So we'll see if I find a step back later on in life, I'll treat it out, but it's book two and if I really like book one I will already have book two. Then I have a few that I got um because I love them and I hadn't had a copy yet so this is The Princess and the Rug by Kate Bateman the third book in her Bow Street Bachelor series. This is her Anastasia retelling that I just loved and so I saw a copy and just had to snag it. Same thing with Highlander Most Wanted by Maya Banks. I did not own this one yet and I think I now own almost all of her um, Highlander novels. So I'm so excited to have this for my collection. This is, this is, this is stunning. I love this book. And then I also didn't have this book in Karen Hawkins, uh, The Duchess Diaries series, How to Pursue a Princess. I love this book, this whole series. There's three books in this series. They're amazing. Um, and I didn't own book two yet. So look, I have one to complete my collection. And then I found this one just off the off the cuff. This is Almost Perfect by Denise Hampton. The summary in here just sounded so good to me. I'll just read you the first line of the summary. It says, Cassandra Marston wagered a kiss in a card game with the incorrigible rake Lucian Holler Hollier and willingly paid her debt when she lost. But now desperate for funds, the beautiful lady challenges him again and wins. That sounds really good and the cover is stunning too. I saw this one in the store. This is Dangerous by Minerva Spencer and had to pick it up because of Jen. Jen loves this book and um, she recommends it to me quite often, but I don't have a copy of it and I don't think there's an audio for it. Um, so I was like, I saw it, I gotta snag it. And then this one was a total steal for me. It looks so cool. So I don't own any Jer Mary Jo Putney, but this uh, whole step back is stunning. So it is gold on the front. You have flowers, roses, and a tiger, a white tiger. And then look at this step back. Wow, stunning. That is definitely gonna be on the step back Saturday for me. And then the last two were so interesting. So I really have been loving Scarlett Scott's books. I only read two of her books, but I saw two of them and had to snag them. Um, there are book two and three in a series um, in her Notorious Ladies of London series. I do not, I, I have not read any of these books, but um, this is book two. Um, Lady Wallflower, and then this is book three, Lady Reckless. So when you find indie historicals in a used bookstore, buy them <laughs> if you love the author. So I have to go find book one because I don't know what book one is. So yeah, so that's my haul. <laughs> um, I bought quite a few books. I bought some other things too, and I might show you all later. Oh, one of the things was um, my grandma told my mom, like, pick, let her pick anything like $25 and it'll be from me. 
Um, so I picked this uh, apron with like flowers on it. It looks really cute. I have a picture of me in it. So yeah, we're gonna go eat some dinner here, make some dinner and um, have some macarons. And then we're gonna watch the new, we're gonna rent the new Downton Abbey movie. So I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna go do that. Hi friends, it's the next day. We have a crying dog, give me a second. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um so it's the next day and i kind of oh yes hello yes hello um and um i thought i would just tell y'all what i did at the end of the night because i didn't really film anything and then close out this vlog we also have two more freaking packages to open from y'all like what the heck <laughs> you wanna go go up go on go on you can go go on up go there you go There you go. He's on his little pillow in the window. Uh-uh. You cannot bark if you're up there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So if you see a tail in anywhere, it's because his tail is sitting right on top of my phone and it's going. Um, anyway, so uh, last night was fun. We came home from book shopping. I showed you all the books that I got. And then we just had the leftovers from our lunch. Um, and... Um, yeah, we watched uh, the new Downton Abbey movie, um, which I liked. Um, I love Downton Abbey so much. So that was a real treat to watch with my family. Um, and then uh, I didn't have any birthday cake because like time wise, I did not feel like making a birthday cake. My mom didn't feel like making a birthday cake and I don't blame her. Um, so we decided just to get a stack of the macarons that um, I bought the other day and um, make a little birthday cake tower for them, which I was totally fine for. I had like three of them for dessert, so. That was fun. Um, and then I fell asleep reading um, the book I was talking about, uh, A Soul to Keep, I think. Um, and I'm loving this book. My only issue is like, it's so long. And so like, I feel like, like I've read so much and then I barely make a dent in it. <laughs> so I'm like, I think 40% of the way through and I'm loving it. Like the heroine is just now like starting to realize like, oh, this guy isn't as bad as I thought he was. And he might be just like amazing. And I'm excited to read more of that. But today that's not gonna happen probably. Um, we'll see, maybe towards the end when I go to bed, but tomorrow I'm going back to school. So today's my homework reading day for school because Wednesday is my class day where I'm in class all day. So I'm gonna be reading all of the articles and chapters I need to read for class today. So um, I woke up to two more packages on my porch. What the heck y'all, y'all need to stop. <laughs> so let's open them, my word. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Who sent me this? Oh, Jess from Honest Fiction. Thank you. She sent me like a new favorite of mine. Oh, it's uh, Amazon is putting stickers on books. Come on, don't ruin the book, please. Thank you. Why, would, why did that have a sticker on it? I never see. Oh, let's just get stuck or something. But Jess, she got me Painted Scars by Neva Altaj. Thank you so much. I've been loving her books. Um, this is a mafia romance series that I've just been loving that thankfully my friends have been loving too so we can like shout about these books. They're just so good. So thank you, Jess. I'm going to be putting your note in the book and I'm gonna tape it there soon. I tape all of my notes from my friends um, who gift me a book very graciously and I put it in a book and I tape it inside the book so it'll be there always. So thank you so much. There's this one. Is it the other book? It's the other one. <laughs> Zay sent me the second one. Did y'all like collaborate? I'm joking. I don't know if y'all did, but that would have been funny. <gasps> Look, it's Broken Whispers book two. Zay, you're so sweet. Y'all are so nice. Look, I have both of them. And I just got the third one as an arc literally like two days ago or yesterday. So I'm so excited. <gasps> Thank y'all so much. I gotta go message y'all. This was so sweet. Oh my gosh, look at those spines. I love the spines that have like the numbers on them. Thank y'all so much. So I'm gonna put your note in the book too. So thank y'all. This was a wonderful, wonderful surprise.
Thank you. I'm gonna go message up. I gotta go put those on my shelves to look all pretty. Um, and then I gotta get back to reading uh education related content <laughs> thank y'all so much for making this birthday so special i honestly thought that it was going to be kind of like a dud birthday due to some medical testing that i was getting done on thursday um that y'all may or may not have known about but yeah that day kind of sucked but um i'm a little bit uh more in settlement with it since then um i can talk about it more later but i have another appointment on the 9th that will hopefully give me more answers um, which is a thursday did not go the way that we planned and hoped so um that's why i didn't really talk about it in here is because i i did not want to think about it honestly um because thursday was kind of like a traumatic day for me so we're gonna move past that i'll talk about it maybe on my chronic illness channel not on here so um if you're not following my chronic illness channel it's always linked down below it's called chronically courageous anyways thank you all so so much for watching please let me know down below if you've read any of the books that i mentioned in today's video i talked about a lot of books so yeah thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.